the top cover gasket is also uh, supplied in the kit, so don't worry about ripping that one. You get a new one. You also notice that the uh, filter uh, gasket or O-ring is still stuck into the valve body. Pry it gently out with a screwdriver, taking care not to scratch the sides. And just put that aside. Your filter will have a new O-ring on it. Just make sure you either uh, uh, pull that one out and make sure there aren't two in there when you go to put it back together. So the first thing we're going to do here is the pressure regulator spring. I'm going to remove the clip. Pull out the boost valve and sleeve, and we'll just put that aside. Remove the spring, and we'll replace it with the spring that comes in the kit. Now, if you want to hold that valve in so it doesn't fall out, and that's a good idea, let's put a little grease in the end of that. Now, we use a transmission assembly lube here, but a little bit of grease or uh, Vaseline or something of that nature would work fine. All right, from there, we're gonna go actually go over to the, uh, we're gonna actually replace the servo regulator valve. This valve is an aluminum silicone valve that is actually uh, prone to sticking in factory applications. So we're gonna actually replace it with a new steel precision valve. So we're going to take the clip out, remove the spring, and we'll gently uh, remove that valve. And make sure that you put the new valve in, in the exact um, direction that the old valve came out. Refer to the instructions in case you uh, get them mixed up a little bit. So let's put the new valve in, the factory spring goes back in, and then the retainer.